Well, he walks away from the game of football as the winningest coach in Cardinals franchise history. However, weeks after announcing his retirement, Coach Bruce Arians gives us a little more insight on where his focus will be in the future. After more than 40 years as a football coach, Bruce Arians' retirement comes with a lot of reflection. Yeah, I think the last two weeks, getting all the texts and phone calls from former players going back 40 years and um, the number of lives you touched and, and hopefully had some kind of a positive impact, uh, a lot of tears, you know, tears of joy and peace. Truthfully, the number of lives he's influenced is countless. However, as he leaves the gridiron, Arians plans to continue that passion of helping people, focusing on children. Uh, it truly means more to me than winning games. And uh, winning games is just a job. Uh, I think with the problem that we have in our foster care system here, uh, that is much bigger. And, and the great progress we've made in the last 16, 18 months in, in the court systems and, and CASA in general, that means so much to me. And we want to we continue that process till every child has a CASA. The Arians Family Foundation works with CASA, or court-appointed special advocates, to help abused or neglected children in the court system. Because our children need it. We still have 15,000 children in this valley of foster care, and, and only we might have up to 1,500 costs now. But as he transitions to his new life, he can't help but recall all the amazing memories made here, especially becoming the hottest selling State 48 t-shirt. You, you got your face on the State 48 t-shirt, walking around everywhere throughout the season. How does that feel? Not in my wildest dreams, I think anybody wear that face. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, it's, a, it's a credit to those guys and, and the foundation you know, and that, that work that we've done. The sale of that t-shirt raised $35,000 going back to his foundation. Really a true testament to the great Cardinals fans. We have the greatest Cardinal fans. Uh, that last game, Christmas Eve, uh, nothing to play for other than pride. And the stadium was full and loud. Thank you so much, the Red Sea. You're the, you're the greatest. Continue to grow. You've got a great team to cheer for and a great owner to, that's going to fix it and keep it rolling. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much. Make no mistake about it, Arians has been a fan favorite. No need to worry. He plans to stay in the state. So, why not put him to work? Now that you've stepped away from the game, we do a thing called Monday Morning Quarterback on Good Morning Arizona. Can we count you in? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> You'll come in and do the Monday Morning oh, Quarterback sure. with us. Sure. I think yeah. our jobs are going to be a jeopardy <laughs> here. Now, Arians has been interviewing with a couple different networks out there saying that he possibly wants to come to the dark side and become an NFL analyst. Uh, but first, he says, make no mistake about it, he's staying in the Valley to play in the Phoenix Open. Nice. He said that's really the greatest game out there. And so he was excited to uh, play in that coming up for the Pro-Am on Wednesday. Ah, that's so nice. exciting. He's such a likable guy. You know what? He he is a very likable guy. And you could see why the entire team kind of right. gathered around him and bought into what he was selling. Right. And that makes a great coach right there. Yep. Very emotional, though, talking about, you know, his family and leaving the yeah. game that he loves so much. So, that But that's amazing hard, to think that the children their welfare is more important than any score in a football game. That's yeah, pretty, I mean, he, he cool. said it best. Uh, winning games is just yeah. a, a job. Yeah. He said, most importantly, let's help these children. Yeah. Very cool. Well, nice job, Javi. Thanks, Thank Javi. You.